Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Qualsys IQ4 panel and the programming of the PowerG PG9914 wireless motion detector into the panel. Uh, very easy to do here. We're going to go ahead and get started by making sure that you have your materials ready here, your motion and the battery are specifically what's going to be needed. Go ahead and pull from down from the top on the drop down here, hit settings. Then you're going to go into advanced settings. It's going to prompt you for your code. Mine is still factory, so I'm going to use 2222. You are then going to hit installation. Then you want to hit devices and then security sensors. Once you've hit security sensors, go ahead and hit auto learn sensor. At this point, it is looking for the actual device itself, even though we don't have the battery in it yet. That's okay. So what you're going to do, these are kind of complicated to open up for some reason. Uh, I was having a little bit of a hard time earlier with it, but you just press down here and then you just separate it. So it's a, it's a little, little tricky. Uh, it it kind of feels like it might, you know, break it, but it won't. So just press it down and then just separate it like so. Okay. Once you've done that, go ahead and get that cover over to the side. We're going to get our battery inserted here. Okay. Uh, also, you'll see that there is a switch here. This switch is the switch that we're going to use to enroll this device. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop the battery in. Okay, polarity does matter. Once that's in there, what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold down that little learn button in there. And then release it. And it should learn it in here. And there it goes. It learned in. So once we've got it learned in, you're going to hit OK. At this point, it's going to ask you for all the settings that you want to put in there. So the serial number, go ahead and confirm that that serial number is correct by locating the serial number on the device itself. Once you've confirmed that the serial number is correct, which I have, uh, you're going to go ahead and move on. It says sensor type motion. Yes, this is a motion. Then you're going to set how you want the motion, uh, an instant motion. If you want it to have a delay, you can do that as well. Um, there's also several other settings that you can set in here. Uh, high traffic shutdown, the activation LED if you want that thing to illuminate when you walk in front of it. Um, the name you can adjust. Uh, it's called motion detector right now, but you can put in a custom description if you choose to. Also, there's a bunch of other preset uh, names that are in there. So we're just going to leave it as motion detector. Chime type, I don't want this thing to chime. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a motion, so every time you walk in front of it, it chiming will probably get a little annoying for you. Um, so I recommend leaving that off for motions. Uh, voice prompts, um, I'm not going to turn that on. And the source is PowerG. So once I've done this, uh, this sensor is ready to rock. I'm going to go ahead and hit Add New. And it'll enroll the sensor into the actual panel itself. Once that's done, you'll hear it say sensor added successfully. It also says it down at the bottom here. And uh, that's how you learn in the PG9914 PowerG uh, motion detector into the brand new Qualsys IQ4 panel. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. Other than that, you guys take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.